morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another wonderful Wednesday with Mrs. Wilson. Um, you might see Carney come in here every once in a while. I am sitting on my wagon, and you'll see why I'm doing that in a short minute. I am reading a very special book from a good friend of mine, Judy, and it's called Henry's Wagon. It's by Peg Dykeman, illustrated by Margie. No last name. Henry had a beautiful red wagon, which he loved better than any other toy in the whole wide world because, look at those illustrations, they're pretty cool. Sunflowers and turtles. He could play train with his wagon. He would put his pan to his real live dog Skippy and his nice stuffed giraffe in the wagon. And then Henry would be the conductor after he'd get in given his passengers their tickets, he'd run down the sidewalk yelling, all aboard, choo, choo, choo. He's having fun with it, isn't he? Sometimes Henry put, would put his Indian suit and his hat with the tall red feathers. Then he would play that his wagon was a canoe and he'd paddle away looking for a fish to cook in his wigwam. Whenever his mother said he could, Henry would put the garden hose in his wagon and race down the walk as fast as he could, yelling, dang, dang, make way for this big fire chief. Yes, wagons certainly were lots of fun. He and his little dog Skippy, huh? One day, while Henry was out playing with his wagon, he got so hungry that he ran into the house to get a glass of milk and a ginger snap, and he left his nice red wagon in the yard. Usually, he was very careful to put it in the garage, but this time he forgot, which was unfortunate because, uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen? Pretty soon, Nice smiling Mr. Sun went sailing away, away behind a cloud to take a nap. I didn't know suns take naps. And in a few minutes, pitter patter, the big raindrops began to splash all over the grass and all over Henry's pretty red wagon. Now rain, as everyone knows, is good for the grass and the flowers and the trees and ducks and turtles and sometimes even rabbits like rain too. But Rain is not very good for her wagons because in a very few days, the pretty red paint began to crack and peel off Henry's wagon. Oh no. Henry was very unhappy when he saw his nice red wagon with the paint all gone because it wasn't pretty anymore. He ran to find his mother. Mother said, Henry, will you paint my wagon for me, please? His mother said she would, but she was feeding the kittens and she forgot all about it. Henry was disappointed because his mother forgot to paint his wagon. So he went to the kitchen to see Bessie, the nice smiling cook. Bessie, he said, will you please paint my wagon for me? But Bessie was busy making cookies and told him to run along. Isn't she sweet looking? Just then, Dick and Sue, who lived next door, came skating down the walk. Hi there, called Henry. Could you paint my wagon for me? But Dick and Sue said they had to go to school. Henry was so unhappy that he sat down on the steps in front of his house and told Skippy all about it. He tried very hard not to cry because big boys don't cry very often. Just then, Henry saw a painter down the street painting a garage. As fast as his legs could carry him, he ran down there to watch. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen now? The painter would dip his big brush into the bucket and slap, slap back and forth on wood go the red green paint. It looked as if it would be fun, thought Henry, and easy too. When the painter was through, he came down the ladder and Henry asked him if he could have the rest of the paint for his wagon. The painter gave it to him with Henry and Henry was very happy. Oh. He sat down on the ground and dipped his finger in the paint. It came out green. When he rubbed it on the wagon, it made a pretty green stripe. This is fun, said Henry. 
Then Henry dipped his whole hand into the bucket of green paint and rubbed it back and forth along the wagon. That was fun too, but still pretty slow. He didn't even have a brush, did he? Guess I'll use both hands, said Henry. That was fine and much faster. He painted the sides and the wheels and the seat and the handle. Just as he finished, a big fly came buzz, buzz, buzzing around his head. Henry brushed it off with his green hands and his hair felt wet and sticky, but he didn't care because his wagon was green all over. Calling, here, Skippy, here, Skippy, he proudly grabbed his wagon and said, let's go home and I'll show our wagon to Bessie. When he got to the kitchen window, he said, hi, Bessie, please come outdoors right now and see my wagon. I painted it all by myself. And... Bessie, I'm a little messy. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this book. It's a very well-loved book, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope school is going well for you. Love you and miss you guys. Bye.